Good afternoon. Today is going to be a sporty day. Here is my trusty deckhand. And together good we are morning. going to... Good morning, it's good afternoon. Good, uh, yeah, good afternoon. Sorry, I get confused. And today we are going to do a small afternoon hike. Well, we're not sure if it's going to be small, but we're going to do an afternoon hike in the Shushan National Park here in Kaohsiung. Yes, we are somewhere here on the map where it says parking. And we're supposed to get here where it says top. Well, I, I wrote top on it, so I hope that's really the top. But the nice lady at the visitor center, uh, Vivienne, she explained us uh, where we should go and what are the nice parts. So trying to get to the top of Monkey Mountain. And uh, yeah, that's our adventure for today. So let's go because uh, we don't have much time to reach the top. Go, 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 go. As, you can, tell, as you can tell by random map pointing, we really have a detailed plan and a detailed course throughout the park. Always. We are totally prepared. Nobody told me this mountain was going up. I mean, why? What a surprise. First stairs of the day. Something tells me there's gonna be plenty more where that came from. We're now walking up uh, Shushan Mountain. Shan is a Chinese word for mountain, and Chu, I think, is monkey. It's called Monkey Mountain. Uh, I thought it was maybe because like it was like shape of a monkey or something, but there's actually loads and loads of monkeys living here on the mountain, which is why it's called Monkey Mountain. Makes sense actually. It does. Whew. A little bit out of breath already, we just started, but I think it will get better once we get uh, warmed up again. Important warnings, it says avoid uh, opening up your backpack in front of monkeys. Which it's is a good lesson. Good lesson. We would not want the monkeys to learn how to open up backpacks. So. No, indeed. And I'm also quite used to that because when I open up my backpack and I get some food out, I always have Kim standing next to me like, oh, what you got there? <laughs> Give me some food. So quite used to doing it like when nobody's watching. Always good. Come on, let's go get uh, up to that mountain. Literally, first five minutes of this walk, already pretty out of breath. It has been nothing but stairs so far. And it looks like there's plenty more going up the mountain over there. So you can really feel all the lack of exercise. So right now we are here, a very disturbingly short distance from where we started, which was here. And we want to go there. So we're thinking of taking one of these wider yellow colored paths to where it is we want to be, Monkey Rock. I'm a bit concerned about the size of the monkeys in this area because I mean, if you compare them to the deer and even to the trees, it looks like they're gonna be huge. Looks like you have a nice viewpoint over here from what I can tell between the bushes. Let's go have a look. Nice, it's not that high up yet, but you already have a view here across the city. Got all the high-rise buildings in the background, it's like more than more modern city, modern part of Kaohsiung here. It's very nice. monkey of the day picking some leaves for lunch it seems and the second monkey's up there as well they're probably up to some monkey business just like we are actually a pretty cool bit to walk around right after you come off that little yeah, platform something like you see in like these fairy tale movies or like these movies that like have some kind of magic to them it's really really cool looks like some yeah, it's a little place. it's a little bit eerie because all these huge huge trees here have these roots that are hanging loosely almost like drapes yeah. or vines or that's pretty cool just look at it I'm getting a little bit hungry and I need some energy to go up the hill, but I know I'm a bit weary of getting food out of my bag, so don't see any monkeys, so but that time 
Oh my god, no. It's the most dangerous monkey of them all. No, run! <laughs> it's a monkey that has a very sore throat and a problem with his voice. Don't worry, we're not gonna give them the banana. We don't feed wild animals. I'm just gonna feed this one. I need to, otherwise... <laughs> I was gonna eat it like this, but... <laughs> it would be very fine mush by the time you get to eat it. Whoa, what a great view. A beautiful view here across the Shushan mountain and then after that you have the Lotus Pond and after that you have Ban Ping Shan if I'm not mistaken. And we can even see our apartment tower from here. So oh, you really, can. Really cool. Our Very home nice. away from home. A nice little viewing deck that they have here. Yeah, indeed. Really cool. I would also call it a nice little resting deck, but I think it's a bit early to start resting already. We are at a crossroads, we can either go that way or that way, which yeah. definitely seems like the road less traveled. Yeah, and we have a map, it has Chinese signs on them. There's Chinese signs on here as well, but the problem is these are like more like stylized, like more... They're more know, difficult to read for more us, More yeah. special writing, and these are like very standard writing, so it's kind of difficult to like really understand what is what and where you're going, but... Let's take the road less traveled. Whoop, whoop. We're all about the adventure travel here, so. That sounds about right to me. The terrain is getting more hilly, more rocky. Oh, it really is. Uh, this really is the road less traveled. Before, the roads were like super wide and not at all snaking across a small cliff edge, so turning into a proper adventure here. All that's missing is King Kong. In a few minutes, it's gonna be like, I'm why this is called Monkey Mountain. But to me, this is a much nicer bit of the park, maybe a little bit more bumpy, a little bit less obvious road, but it's more like pure nature, you know? Once you get off like the main roads, you get into smaller trails which are more off-road. You know, like more in the lush jungle, you see some monkeys. Also sometimes quite a few people like when there's groups passing by, mostly it's okay though. I mean just look at these nice trees. And... But the road is pretty uneven and it can get quite steep sometimes, just like this one. I was just saying about 15 minutes ago, like this is like a really nice hike. It's, I mean, it's a hike up uphill but it's not like you're like really out of breath and huffing and puffing. Meanwhile, plenty of huffing and puffing going on. <laughs> Five minutes later, I was like, <gasps> somebody sent some <gasps> oxygen. <laughs> I think other people passing us by on the were probably like, uh, you stay away from me, sir. You keep your distance. Yeah. Fortunately, we always keep our distance. But, but we made it to the top of the world or at least the top of the mountain. You've got a really, really beautiful view here. Uh, just above the tree line, the main tree line here, and then yeah, you can just see across all the trees. There's even some fruits there and some stuff, and then behind it, you see the beautiful ocean. And it's Real crazy nice. because you can't see the point where the ocean ends no. and the sky starts because the ocean reflects the sunlight so much yeah, that. Yeah, and there's some clouds in there, and then you cannot really see where where it starts and where it ends. We're on our way now to the monkey rock. It's still quite a walk and we still have to get back before dark. Dark is in two hours, so chop chop, muchachos. We were supposed to continue like more further down the path that we were on towards monkey rock and some other points, but it seems like we've taken a wrong turn somewhere because it, like there was a fork in the road and there was nothing there that said which, one, which place was going to which, or we didn't see it at least. So it looks like we're uh, going downhill right now. Quite a um, bit actually. Quite a bit, so 
Uh, it looks like we're more exiting the mountain, but uh, yeah, it's still very beautiful. Let's continue down. You would think going down was very, very easy, but it's not. It's, it's like actually, a... Where do you put your feet? Where do you put them? I can't fly. I need something to put them on. I mean, it's not difficult, but you have to watch your step the entire time. So it actually takes longer going down than it does coming up, <laughs> which makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, normally that's the fast bit. Yeah, so over fast there. Time. There's one over here. One in the bushes. I don't know if you can see them over there, a little one. And then yeah, there's big this group. big group, a big family. That's sort of right next to the road, but we have to walk past here, so no other option if we want to get back, but that is crazy. Two monkeys over there, one in the tree, one coming down. A few babies as well. So, yeah, a few babies. This whole part is just chock full of monkeys. There's another monkey there. Yes. It's the macaw kind. <laughs> Yeah, it's a new evolved species, the donkey. So let's all just pretend that that was monkey rock. I think we can do that. It was monkey rock, what are you talking about, Kim? There were plenty of monkeys there. There were some rocks on the ground, I think. We made it to monkey rock, we've established that. But we just took an alternative route to get there. It was still really, really nice because we yeah. got to see a lot of nice jungly bits today. We saw quite a few monkeys. We had good weather, yeah. sweat our butts off. We had some nice parts and we also had some quite adventurous parts as well so very really quite happy about that. 